Hi guys, welcome to another episode on the Technic application. Today we're gonna work on the shift between an arm motion and finger motion. We're going to work on this because it's very common for drummers to uh, shift from one part of the body to the other without even realizing uh, that they're doing so. And if we're not completely educated on this, um, we will have our times and our playing, it's not gonna be as perfect as it should be. So doing this exercise will allow us to have the complete control on this shifting. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift from an arm motion to a finger motion playing one bar of arm motion, one bar of finger motion. Of course, when we talk about finger motion, we talk about the French grip um, because in the German grip, when we use the fingers, if we do this kind of thing, if we try to have this kind of position, it hurts um, our tendons. It hurts. It's kind of like I can feel tension here, so I always avoid to do this type of things, and I just keep my hand in the French grip position since this thing doesn't hurt, this motion doesn't hurt at all so uh, in my opinion the best way of using finger motion is um, by the French grip so the first thing that we will have to get used to is to stay synchronized with the rebound in both cases so when we go arm with the arm motion and then we shift to finger motion it doesn't have to be something that's separate, it's, it's just going to be controlling the rebound with the two different parts of our arm. So, as you can see here, while well, I'll do this slowly, basically what's happening is I use my arm, 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 arm in the arm section of course, and then for the finger strokes I do arm, fingers, fingers, fingers. So the first stroke is still an arm motion so that I use this stroke as an injection and then when I'm here I just do a push-pull kind of push-pull uh, in the French grip position so so arm, 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 finger, finger, finger arm, 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 finger, finger, finger in this way I never lose the synchronization with the rebound and so I don't stop the the bouncing of the stick when I have to go from one um, part of the the arm to the other. So I don't feel like I don't do anything like or okay. It's just always the same feeling, always bouncing the stick, just shifting the control from falling back with the forearm to controlling it with the fingers so so this is very helpful for whenever we want to um, play we're playing for example a skank beat or something slower and then we go straight into something faster or we want to do a, a switch of rolls so So basically going from slow or medium tempo to very fast uh, without using, without going through the wrist. So shifting directly for a, a big muscles, big muscles to smaller muscles. This is very important because our brain um, has to be educated in when it, ha it has to activate certain parts of our body. Okay, he wants to send the right inputs exactly what he has to and we have to educate this it can't just be something that we uh, take for granted that we know how to do that our brain knows how to shift and we have to deal so we have to control our body and 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 educating our brain to say hey this is arm motion and then when I want to switch to wrist uh, to finger motion you will just have to accept the rebound and isolate the arm and just work 
with the with the finger, controlling the ribbon with the finger. Okay, it's a very important step. And uh, when I started to work on, on this kind of exercises, it was really a, a game changing for me because I cleared all my um, switching um, moments in the songs. So. Um, every time I had hard times doing going from one skank beat, for example, to a blast beat, um, or or again from a slow um, part of the song to a fast, way faster, like in the bar just after that, um, I was always feeling like I was kind of preparing myself, and I would feel nervous, and then. I would just kind of throw myself to the fast part instead. Now I'm super relaxed and I know exactly what I have to do, how my body should react and my brain is educated so it becomes an unconscious thing and it's not something that I have to think of, oh, okay, now it's going to, we're going to shift from an arm motion to a finger motion. Right? We, I don't think about all these things. It just becomes natural because I've educated it in this part of my workout. So things to pay attention to while we do this exercise. It's very important not to stop the rebound. We always have to follow the stick back in the, both in the arm section and in the finger section. So let's make sure that we don't stop the rebound and we don't have this type of things, but also that we don't do this and then lift the stick on our own. So let's make sure we don't do neither this thing with our fingers or this thing with our arm. We have to follow, literally follow the stick back up here and then just let it bounce back. So we follow it with the forearm when we do the first part, the arm motion, and then we follow the stick with the fingers when, by opening the fingers, when the stick bounces and we have to control it with the French grip, so we're synchronized to the stick, but it's the the fingers that have to follow the stick back up. Okay, so I don't lift the stick, but the stick comes up with the rebound, and I follow it with my fingers, and then back to arm. So finger, finger, arm. The last stroke we follow it we follow back the stick with the whole arm so let's not do a two motions um, movement during the shift but it's one one two three four one two three four one two three and no one not one two three four or one two three four Okay, it's very important that the stick keeps stays in motion the whole time and we just again control it with certain parts of our body but it's just controlling the rebound with our arm and then with our fingers. And of course let's pay attention to the wrist that doesn't get involved so let's make sure that when we use the French grip or the, the finger motion the wrist is not involved at all. So that we shift literally from arm to finger. Arm, finger. Arm, fingers. And of course let's pay also attention to the quality of our playing, so to the distances between notes. Let's play 8 notes and 16 notes. 8 notes, 16 notes. and not okay not strange uh, tempo changement it has to be half speed double speed half speed double speed and let's also make sure that we don't have shuffle kind of feeling but all the notes are even the spaces are even between the notes And so paying attention to the quality of what we're doing, also dynamics. We have two dynamics and not that every stroke is different. So dynamic one, 
Dynamic 2. Dynamic 1. Dynamic 2. So let's see the first workout for today. We're going to play one bar of quarter notes and four bars of eight notes. I'm going to use heavier sticks for the first part of this routine so that I really feel if I'm doing the right things because of course if I am lifting the stick and so I'm not synchronized completely with the rebound and with the stick I will feel the weight of the stick and with this you will really feel the weight because they're aluminium sticks and they're very heavy um, and so if I'm doing the wrong things I'm gonna feel it straight away instead if I'm doing the right things um, I will understand it and I will go on doing the exercise in the right way we're going to do one section with the right hand one section with the left hand, then unison, and then alternate it. Let's go. repeat everything with our regular drumsticks. So with this exercise we educate our brain to shift from an arm motion to finger motion without having problems of uh, neither controlling your body, so having weird wrist or, or finger motions going and um, controlling the external forces too, so dealing with the rebound and with the stick itself. So it's very important for us to educate our brain to understand the difference uh, between giving an input to our arm and then shifting to our finger keeping the same rebound keeping the, the stick bouncing uh, staying synchronized with the rebound and with the stick so it's a very common thing that we do in many occasions while we play drums we don't really realize this and once we will work on this type of shifting and education of our brain and body it will benefit our playing a lot so have a good practice and I'll see you next week.